Hey, welcome to Tharsis, Hellas, and Valis Marineris. These are three features on Mars, three very prominent features out of the many I could have chosen, but these ones are huge in size. They make equivalent features on Earth seem tiny. And so, um, yeah, let's start off with talking about Tharsis. Tharsis is really just a big bulge in the planet. Let's look at uh, Google, Google Mars here, Google Earth. Mars view, and you can see that uh, the Tharsis bulge literally takes up one side, one face of this planet. You know, as I rotate it around to show you the entire planet, you can see one one face of it at a time, right? And Tharsis bulge is just huge. In fact, I'm also going to be talking about Valles Marineris at the end of this video. That's part of the bulge. You can see here. This is the the valley here, but um, it's just a huge feature. In fact, it's about the size of North America. You could fit Canada and uh, the U.S. and Mexico, and it would take up similar land space. So, on average, it's roughly 10 kilometers above the rest of the surface. And if you look at the little uh, elevation scale here, you can see that reds and pinks go up to roughly uh, probably like six or seven or eight kilometers. The pinker it is on here, the higher it is, although it's hard to tell from this scale. Um, and, you know, these wetter areas are even higher up in elevation at the peaks of these volcanoes. So, on average, it's about 10 kilometers above the rest of the surface. These lower areas are much lower. Um, if an ocean was present, I mentioned this before, Mars doesn't have an ocean, but uh, especially in this, in this elevation view, uh, they chose low elevations to be blue, probably to just give you the, the idea of where ocean water would be if it were present. But if present, this would probably be the only continent on on Mars. You know, Earth has seven continents. Um, Mars would probably only have one. And since there's no evidence of plate tectonic activity on Mars, that continent wouldn't drift around the planet like the continents on Earth do. Based on crater aging, which I've talked about before, you, you can you can get a rough idea of how old uh, the surface is on a planet or moon, um, especially relative to other parts of the planet, based on how many craters are are apparent on the surface. And um, based on that, it, the surface of Tharsis region, you can see, if I zoom in a bit, relatively few crater oops relatively few craters um, especially they're a lot smaller now a lot of the larger craters most likely would have been older craters back when the solar system there was more bombarding going on but um, anyway you can see few craters so that makes the region roughly two to three billion years old on the surface now the bulge itself is probably much older but again there was you know, volcanic activity happening and that would have covered up the, s the craters that would have existed earlier and made it look newer, fresher. Right. Um, the other, the second regi region I want to talk about is Hellas Basin. Uh, Hellas Basin is a very interesting feature. It's it is the lowest point on Mars, and again, bringing back Google Google Mars here, it's on the other side of the planet. And you can see it has the darkest blues of even the the, low, the lowlands up in the north, getting really deep right around this point here. You can you can see. So it is a very low feature on Mars, and 3,000 kilometers across, huge, huge. Um, this is another another view of it here, and. Uh, Nine kilometers deep from floor to rim. Now here's here's a profile, like a side view of it. This is not to scale in height versus width. You see, from here to here is 6,000 kilometers. It goes from 3,000 to negative 3,000, but the depth here is only, you know, on a scale of five from here to here. So it, it would, you know, if I were to stretch this out, it would look more realistic, you know, something like this. But then, with this picture, it gets kind of hard to see, you know. So it's definitely not as exaggerated as I had it originally. 
if I can get it back real quick. But um, you know, this gives you a good idea of roughly, you know, this is a huge, huge feature. And looking at the structure here, you got uh, a deep hole, and you got a rim that gets higher and then it gets lower again outside the rim. And so these are, you know, obvious features of an impact. Uh, this must have been a huge, huge, huge impact. Um, can't imagine what that would have looked like. And we can do our, our good old crater aging. And um, based on that, this impact probably happened about 4 billion years ago. And um, as we talk about the age of the solar system, which is roughly 4.6 or so billion years old, then um, this, this would have happened early on in Mars's history. So, um, One interesting sort of theory if you look at the planet here, so let's let's uh, if you look down here, you got you know it shows you where the mouse cursor is, like what location on the planet. So the boundary between south and north is the equator, right? So see north, south, north, south. So the equator is about here. So let's kind of make the equator in the middle. And here's Hellas Basin. If we go to the other side of the planet, look at that. There's the Tharsis Bulge. And if you think about it, so let's, put, let's go from the side here. There's, there's Hellas again down here, right? So let's think about it. From the side view, you got, and look at my mouse cursor down here. Pick, you can picture a huge, huge object just coming in. Bam! Hitting the planet right here, which is again right here, right? But from the side. And that energy did who knows what. Could that possibly have caused the other side of the planet right here to to do this? Um, there's you know there's people on on the side of this theory and people not necessarily on the side of this theory, but um, one thing to think about is so the Tharsis region is young, and so that may lead you know you to think that maybe this happened after the impact, and so it's just a coincidence that they're on opposite sides of the planet. Um, but the, could the volcanic eruptions have happened so long after the bu Tharsis bulge formed? It's thought that actually the, the bulge would have formed quite a long time ago, maybe you know even three, three and a half or so billion years ago. And so um, the, the volcanic activity would have kept happening uh, up until more recent times. And so possibly this, you know, this feature formed because of this impact, which would have definitely sent shockwaves through the entire planet. I mean, look how huge that is. So, but, um, you know, depends on what side of the coin you're on, whether this is a, a valid theory or just a coincidence. And finally, Valles Marineris. That's this fun looking, not really a canyon, looks like a canyon, often compared to the Grand Canyon in terms of, you know, the walls and whatnot, but it makes a Grand Canyon look tiny. Um, you know, I have a map here. This is the map of the U.S. and placed on Mars. So here you can see the three volcanoes of the Tharsis region here. And here's Valles Marineris. Basically, goes across the entire U.S. You know, the Grand Canyon is just a little teeny little teeny little beep blip on the map right here in this area, and so. Yeah, um, that's kind of where the comparison ends. Plus the fact that the Grand Canyon was formed by water, that's what the canyon is, and Valles Marineris was not, you know, it was most likely formed as the, the Tharsis region expanded out, bulged out, and would have just cracked the surface, you know. Uh, age estimates for, for this uh, valley, two to, anywhere from two to three and a half billion years old, so it's kind of hard because uh, you know, to see where all the craters are in here is, I don't know. But it is almost 4,000 kilometers long, longer than Hellas Basin, which takes up roughly a fifth of the planet's circumference. So if I bring Google Mars back here, you can see, you know, stretches way along here. Um, again, about a fifth of the planet. You know, this, this is often considered part of the valley too, but, you know, there's other things going on here. 
and it can be up to 120 kilometers wide at its widest point, maybe around here or so, uh, and up to seven kilometers deep. So, you know, it's quite a lot of uh, Mars's surface that it takes up. And just to finish the video, I have a little flyby of Valles Marineris. Um, I'm not going to show the whole video, just kind of this piece here. And I think at some point, yeah, right about here, we get the sun. And so we'll stop about there, but this is a nice little video. Well, except for the sound, I, I muted, muted it, so I'll just let you watch in silence. Cool, they got little dust dust storms going on. If any of you have ever been to the Grand Canyon, um, this is not even comparable. If you were standing on, on the edge, parts of it would be so far away you couldn't even really see see the, the other side, so but yeah, so that's kind of a nice little flyby of parts of Valles Marineris. And so that pretty much concludes this video. Uh, I really just wanted to give you a, a brief overview of these three regions. There's so much more I could have talked about, but you know, if you want to ever become a, an expert on Mars, you got plenty of, of stuff to, to read, read up on. So yeah, all right. Until the next video, I'll see you next time.